Remember me? I'd have to lose all the brain cells in my head before I forget something as fine as you. You know I stay pimping the pros. Let's get it. You know it's hard out here for a pimp When he trying to get this money for the rent For the Cadillacs and gas money spent We'll have a whole lot of bitches jumping shit Holding it down live from the 48205. Back for another episode of Pimping the Pros. Uh, we up to episode number 10 now, so I'm excited. We finally got to double digits, so that's pretty dope. Don't forget, if you want to have your work featured on the show, uh, make sure that you do send an audio file to pimpingthepros at gmail.com. That's P-I-M-P-I-N-T-H-E-P-R-O-S-E at gmail.com. All right, so yeah, send your work, and we'll feature it on either the Tuesday or Thursday show. So uh, yeah, be looking forward to getting some submissions there. So right now we're up to episode number ten, and I've got a I've got a good piece that I want to share with you guys. Um, this is actually something um, that I written not too long ago, um, and just to give you an idea of how it even came to be, I was just thinking about like all the trials and tribulations that people go through. Uh, the, the, the setbacks and a lot of the deaths and just how life is, is so precious. And I know that's probably an overused term, but in real life, I mean, it, it really is. And you just never know how much time you have. So time really is precious. And so my uh, my whole concept behind this piece was uh, just kind of to seize the day. So whatever whatever it is that you wanted to accomplish, whatever it is that you wanted to do, don't put it off for another day. Because you just never know when, you know, you won't have time to fulfill whatever that desire was that you want to do. So um, that's how this piece was inspired. Just thinking about how precious life was. And, of course, when people die, that always makes you reflect on your own mortality. Um, so this is uh, pretty much where that piece came from. It's called Erasable Ink. So uh, real quick, you know, we got to shoot to a commercial break. But when we come back from the break, we're going to get into it. Erasable Ink. Hang out for a second. We'll be back in less than a minute. man king crooked you already know you see this in my hand these are the plugs you know what i mean some of the finest quality earplugs that you can purchase you can go and get them at gettheplugs.com gettheplugs.com don't run off on the plugs like flies you know what i'm saying go get the plugs at gettheplugs.com all right peace Erasable ink. The book has been written, millions of words straddle edges of paper, bound by experiences, memories, and lessons learned, behaviors between brothers, bothersome to say the least, unity broken in chapters, introductions flip frantically to conclusions, considering good reads often go quickly, minds barely soak up sense before abruptly coming to an end. There is no sequel. There is no volume two. No more pages to turn, even when stories seem incomplete. That's that piece, y'all. All right, so this is a it's a short piece, so it's not a it's not one of the more lengthy pieces like I had read in the you know previously. But I think this is a kind of indicative of how life is. Sometimes it really is just too short. No matter if you get you know, teenage years, or uh, if you make it to a hundred, like still, it, it still seems short. It just doesn't seem like there's ever enough time. So I wrote this piece to kind of, you know, kind of resemble that. 
how short life can be. And even though you haven't fulfilled everything that you wanted to do, um, at the end of the at the end of the chapter, that's just the end of that. Like it doesn't, you know, go any further. Uh, so a couple of lines that I wanted to talk about that kind of stuck out is uh basically uh let me see, I think it's the third it's the third line in where it says bound by experiences, memories and lessons learned behavior between brothers bothersome to say the least all right so these lines are important to me because uh this you know kind of ties it into um how a book is like bound so that's the reason i use that word but your life is kind of bound by your experiences and the memories of those lessons learned so i think that's that's important to emphasize because um, oftentimes our legacy or what we leave behind is pretty much just bound by our experiences and your life pretty much is, you know, just made of memories. That's why pictures are so important and videos are so important because we kind of we live through those memories. Um, and then uh, down at the uh, bottom where it says uh, considering good reads often go quickly. Minds barely soak up sense before abruptly coming to an end. And that's just uh, I mean, that's just life summed up as it goes. And when I say it's considering good reads often go quickly, that's just kind of feeding into that whole concept of uh, how we always say that the good die young. Um, this is kind of, you know, piggybacking off of that. That's pretty much uh, what I wanted to sum up with that line, considering good reads often go quickly. And that's the truth. It seems like the, the best people, like the the people with the most worth, always seem to to be the quickest to you know to to leave this earth which is a crazy thing it's a crazy concept but um it's definitely true and that's where that term came from like the good die young so yeah um that's uh that's what inspired this piece and that's uh the the few lines that i want to pick out to share with you guys to you know just let you know what i was where i was coming from when i wrote those lines but uh yeah so that's episode number 10 erasable ink i hope that you enjoyed uh, don't forget, if you've got your own your own work that you want to share with us, make sure that you do send that audio file to pimpinthepros at gmail.com. That's P-I-M-P-I-N-T-H-E-P-R-O-S-E at gmail.com. And I look forward to hearing from you. Uh, also, in the next couple of weeks, uh, we're going to have a new segment, which I, I kind of hinted about it a few episodes back. Um, but it's going to be uh, something that I think you'll like. I'm going to have a, a guest poet on to uh, to do these segments um, and it's going to be called A Pimp's Passion. All right. So <laughs> be on the lookout for that. It's going to be pretty dope. And uh, of course, we'll give you a heads up when it's coming out. But don't forget, make sure that you do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell so that you get notified every time that we go live. And of course, speaking of going live uh, tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, the Wake and Bake E-Block Radio Show will be live. That's at 10 a.m., so make sure you tune in. Me, Monk Money, and Angry Man. Um, not sure what we're talking about in the morning yet, but it's always going to be a lively conversation, so make sure you check us out. But uh, till the next time, you already know what it is. This is Pimpin' the Pros, and it's your boy, Q Lewis, holding it down live from the 48205. Peace out, y'all.